What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have Rumalquis who's taken over the offensive from Mr. Berglund. And he's going to attack the garrison here at Barcelona. It's a significantly depleted garrison, a large component of cavalry, but nothing we won't be able to defeat. So let's take the city into the fold. So we do have a potential issue with that Swedish army to the west, maybe making their escape through the Pyrenees. So we might have to see if, what we can do to engage them afterwards. Um, but yes, we are continuing our strategy to secure the Iberian Peninsula and then turn to engage the Allies. I'm happy for this to take a few turns because it will allow us to build up our armies on the front line against Poland. Invasion forces to take out Britain and forces to square off against Russia. So this is a handy little hill for 12 pounders to deploy. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take a handful of infantry, infantry to form a left flank brigade. Then a handful on the right. Skirmishers are out wide. Let's put the bulk of the cavalry on the right as well. The Dragoon unit on the left. Six pounders and howitzers advance up the center. Along with my general. A flanking force of so let's just push up because it would appear that the enemy is not highly visible to us. Just advance in general. It's their general's bodyguard, so I'm not anticipating them doing anything too dangerous. My artillery is engaging. There we go. Push up the artillery. Are they charging? Dummies. Expose the fourth light horse, though. Eh, my infantry's okay. I'll drop them into square. Ah, now they're exposing themselves. Foolish cavalry. You men halt, you men pivot. Okay, you men drop into square because it looks like they're going after you. Yep, they're going to hit my square. Okay, let's get this unit to run up to the flank and form square. Yep. Drop in square, pull my cavalry back. These dragoons will fall to my massed cavalry on the flank. Okay, the horse guards are going to going to intercept the horse guards, get this infantry out of square. Pretty darn sure we will win that engagement because we've got our own horse guards involved. Our light dragoons might be taking most of the damage at the moment, but that will soon change. Who's that back there? More dragoons. Okay, another mass cavalry charge. You men get into square, pull our cavalry back. Draw our cavalry on the right. Ooh, 12 pounders just shot my square in the back. There go the 7th and the 10th. So you men in the centre. Reform the line. You men form square, get my skirmishers out of the way. They are very attracted 
to these squares, aren't they? I mean, I'm going to drop you guys in the square just in case, but... The light horse, they're not going to like... Yeah, they are returning. Horse guards hit the eighth horse guards because they've come back. Let's not go mad in trying to chase down the enemy cavalry because ultimately they're probably going to retreat and come back a few times. Look over here, they seem determined to try and hit my lifeguards. How much does haven't engaged yet? Because there's not really a need. Okay, my 12s can't hit the 10th Regiment of Militia. The trouble is, they're very tired. If they're very tired, I'm tempted to just let my squares deal with the enemy cavalry. Because the lifeguards. Yep. Back you go. Yeah, the enemy have recovered on the right. So let's advance my line forward. Yeah, they're not broken, but they are not. They're still sturdy. Let's push my howitzers up a little bit more than unlimber. My six pounders can stay where they are. Enemy infantry starting to expose themselves, or be exposed by my cavalry. I think they're very keen to go after my skirmishers. Tenth are on their way back, but I'm not going to move my left flank. And this unit's going to get shot up. Cazador Acabalo. They've been repulsed by our muskets. Let's commit my dragoons into the fight here. So I would like my infantry to push up. Get my infantry out of square to continue advancing because my dragoons will knock out the horse guards. They're depleted and in a poor state of morale. My howitzers can limber up. Come on. Tenth horse guards have been broken, so I'm going to trot them towards the fourth regiment. Run, dragoons. Run, skirmishers. Run. Take out their general. we go. It's interesting armour. God, the 10th Regiment have come back. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must pay. Running and active. We're eager and active. There must have been artillery shooting at them. But again, my cavalry, my dragoons, are very experienced. Experience six. And that's the 10th regiment cleared out. Advance towards the 4th. Do a bit of trotting to try and recover some stamina. 
Horse guards, and you guys hit the Tirador. These Cazadors, they're trying, they're dismounting as well. Perfect. Ride them down. On this flank, we need to charge their skirmishes and weak troops. Fundamentally, most of my infantry is not going to get used. Pull my cavalry out. Took a volley at close range, that's not good. The enemy infantry starting to get hit. Push up my general. My twelves are engaging. My sixes can advance with me. You guys just push up the flank. Very well. Newman advance. The rest of his infantry face off against this regiment of partisans. Get my cavalry involved again. Charging the enemy. The irregulars are going to go down. Enemy stakes have been placed. Getting my light dragoons in against the 14th light foot. These men's job is to isolate and destroy the 9th. Charge go continue the advance if we can break the 14th light foot that would be perfect come on take him out your reg other regulars are getting involved Let's just try and withdraw my cavalry away. Infantry de Linea being engaged. I was very much hoping you guys would rout. So you guys might bayonet charge the artillery. You men can engage the irregulars en masse. Oh no, be careful of the stakes. So my Felt Jaeger should be doing quite well against the 39th. As the glorious Swedes advance in the flank. Continue manoeuvring. Close Glorious range. Is soon to be yours. And once this regiment of artillery is destroyed, we don't need to destroy them, but you men can now pivot to engage the irregulars in the flank. I mean, good on the 9th. Granted, most of this unit's not engaging, but everyone else is. Where are the stakes? There they are. Okay. Actually, you guys can just pivot and face off against the enemy. That unit's been routed, as has that unit there. Maintain the advance. 
You chaps form rank. Form ranks and engage the 14th. Good volley. And that unit finally routed, which is good. Just advance through the woods. They could potentially be charged by my cavalry, so let's trot a unit up to explore the possibility. And also withdraw my heavy cavalry. Volley into the into the flank. You men smash into the 14th. You guys go after the 10th because they've come back. Surprise, fellas! Don't let them get a shot off first. Obviously, got a unit here that came back as well. The enemy does like to uh, come back. Same as right here as well. You guys are routing the right direction so you can continue to chase them down. Same with the 10th. Get the howitzers to unlimber. Both these units engage the militia, militia provincial. Cavalry slowly making its way through the woods. Immediately broken. Always the frustrating thing, really, is that these guys elect to return to the action, but then immediately break once a good unit gets into view. Understandably, these guys might take a bit longer because it's just being engaged by musketry, but I am going to speed up time and also push some units up. Now they're only wavering, but they should once my troops engage. There we go. Oh, for God's the sake. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. New men form. Oh, God, more of them have come back. <laughs> the general's unit was shot to pieces. But this is, without a doubt, the most frustrating thing about the Pony Total War 3, is that units just don't die. Even when they should. When they've been wiped out. 12 pounders engage the irregulars. How does this engage? That unit of irregulars. Shaken, concerned, exhausted, and it's just like, oh, for God's sake, just, you've routed before, there we go. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Hurrah! Hurrah! We're going to peacefully occupy the city, not because we want to, not because we don't want the money, but because I want to keep it um, fairly docile. You can't attack. But you should be okay. You're only half a stack. It's possible that they run up there, but if they do, we'll we'll figure something out. I'm hoping they'll drive, they'll retreat eastward, westward. Sorry, back to the main bulk of their forces. We're also marching on Torino. And we also really need to kick off the war with uh, Sweden. Let's get you into theatre. You can't reach Innsbruck, but I fear Innsbruck is lost. There is a hell of a combined force here. Let's hit in turn. Oh yeah, some of our troops that are up in Sweden. Yeah, I really do just need to... Ooh, is Napoleon in... Napoleon's in Innsbruck, by the looks of it. It looks like you're going to run all of your agents up to my territory to try and steal my technology, France. What's the matter? Can't research your own. Gonna to have to steal my good, pure Swedish technology. Okay, I think I want to start the Swedish, the Swiss, the Swiss offensive 
now in order to try and push through to northern Italy and secure it as much as possible for our empire. Yeah, this is going to be the significant factor in this campaign because our the bottleneck for our ability to recruit troops is as many as we can recruit in Sweden and Finland. But let's see. Let us see. We've got those three forces that will be enough to mop up the Iberian Peninsula. Oh, yeah, they've definitely got Innsbruck. Hmm. In which case, then, I'm tempted... If I could take Luzern, push down and take... Ooh, if they don't go for it, we might be able to take it next turn. Yeah, don't worry, Russia. I have plans for you. Ooh, I don't like the Russia's advanced through continents I don't want them if, if I can't get Innsbruck and Venice I'm not gonna want either I think uh, oh, okay right so Spain's run back up through my territory so what's probably gonna happen you were on strike not anymore so I think it's quicker for Mr. Almquist to get to Toulouse you can push into Catalonia Maintain the replenishment. Don't worry about the small arms factory. Trade gained. My spy in Madrid doing well. Spy network established in Vienna. Good. So the question is, if we pushed in and... Oh, we can't attack Innsbruck. Right. I don't like how Russia's pushed through. I might drive them through Innsbruck if we get in, if if this starts to fight if they start to fight here we're not going to get involved we're going to push this army through to Milan you are going to push on to Torino because at the very least then I can have armies north and south here maybe push on to Rome ideally I want to mop up the Iberian Peninsula take Palma take Accaccio Maybe start fighting against the, the Italians, maybe, with these troops. But you don't, you don't really want to move until we've got both all of these points secured, so two armies can secure these river crossings, and then we can then drive straight to Madrid, send one army straight to Gibraltar, another army over to Palma. But I think the big thing we want to do, you're, you want to build up your artillery. Okay, let's make Habol Bengston kick off this war against Switzerland. We don't want anyone else to get involved, so we're going to not call in our allies. And we're going to engage this first Swiss force here, and it will draw in their reinforcements at the city. Lots of Swiss line, Swiss Jaeger, militia, volunteers, artillery. It's going to be a good war. It's going to be a good battle, I should say. So we want to do as much damage as possible to the garrison because then our force that's bringing up, being brought up the rear can advance and take the city. Then we can advance down towards Milan. Then we will have four armies in Italy. Ooh, interesting billiard table deployment zone here. Get my 12 pounders wide. As usual, engulf our militia into the central force here. What are you? Swiss Jaeger. I don't know why I can see you, but all right. Then let's put our howitzers behind our main line. I finish going to be on the left. In which case, then my 12s want to be even further off to the flank. But then again, that makes them pretty useless. Hmm. Oh, all our guards and light infantry. Okay, right, I can't do that. Let's put a foot Jaeger on the flank as well. Both my guards and a unit of light infantry on the right. 
Good stuff. Split up the cavalry. Obviously we're going to be offensive here. Because the enemy reinforcements are going to slow the action down. They are coming in from directly behind them. Hopefully they will run. We're likely to ex to experience some skirmish fire. We will experience some skirmish fire. Voluntarios de Cuidad Rodrigo. That's in Portugal. Sus. Twelve pounders are engaging. Yeah, there's their reinforcements coming in. Cavalry, Lord Dragoon Swiss. More voluntarios. Understandably, they're falling back. So let's play this battle a bit on fast forward. Well, they really are pulling back. Even their weird defences they're not going to keep. But I'm going to resist the temptation to run my troops, just make them walk keep them in good condition see if we can lure any of their cavalry I can hear charging Come out of Switzerland. You got nothing. These men are even trying to run away. They do look pretty good though. Aha! They have revealed themselves. not going to significantly impact our dispositions. Our Swiss on the flank will be the first to engage, then our main line will form up and also begin to engage them. And it looks like we'll be able to push around... I was about to see push around the right flank. Push our cavalry forward. Push our cavalry forward because we can then try and use our advantage in infantry. Yeah, the Swiss reinforcements coming in. This this is a more veteran army here from the city. The force out here. There we go. First shot away. Commit my cavalry to attack the 4th Regiment of Horse. Because I want my infantry to make better progress. Let's try it. I mean, if the cavalry's going to not engage us, then fair enough. The end result will be similar. Let's target my howitzers into the central mass. You men divert into the infantry de linea Swiss. Pull back my light dragoons. Perfect. So 
some good damage there. It looks like they're going to very nicely combine all of their troops into the centre uh, for us. Sir, our general is under attack. He's fine. Let's do something like this. Keep my cavalry wide here to protect the flank. Thought, yeah, you're going to put a good volley into the grenadiers. Commit my cavalry again to attack the enemy cavalry. Howitzers are doing well. Grenadiers are getting upset as well. Keep my general wide. Grenadiers have fallen. Try pull my cavalry out wide. See, we do have infantry coming in. So don't want to push too far up on this flank. Just enough to try and wrap up the flank, because there goes a yeah, infantry, grenadiers, the cavalry's pushing up. Okay. You men drop into defensive positions. These men are very kindly wands into a pike square. Form your regular line. Enemy charge. Cavalry's coming back. Those guys are formed square, so that should suck them in. Go on, militia. And it has done, so fall back into line. Bring the jaws shut. These troops in the centre looking incredibly vulnerable now. Huzzah! So their centre is looking more exposed. And there you go, the Swiss line are running away. Swiss grenadiers. Let's get my general staff back towards the centre. Really keep my cavalry in reserve here. Twelve pounders, it's difficult for them to be useful. There's enemy general back there. Too bad you guys aren't engaging as, as well as I'd like. I think it's because they're trying to shoot at this unit, but I want them to shoot straight ahead. First regiment of horse is trotting towards my cavalry. Pick new target. Massing here again. <laughs> Bring 
bring my cavalry forward because my Swiss grenadiers, Swiss grenadiers have hit my foot Jaeger. Charge the horse guards into the militia before they get too many cheap kills. There go the Swiss grenadiers. Commit into the sensor because it looks like we're probably going to break the back of them now. Heavy cavalry hit the Lanvair militia on the flank. Swiss line infantry unit does not look happy. Okay, you men come back towards the centre, start to hit some of these infantry units. There we go, get in there, cavalry. That militia unit's routed. So we're soon going to start to see lots of upset units fleeing the field. I think pretty darn sure that we're going to be we've done a good, a good amount of damage here today. Retarget the howitzers. I know they're fatigued. So many damn Swiss to kill. So many we can't kill them all quick enough. Okay, let's withdraw the cavalry. Stop it from getting too tired. Everyone else continue to open up. You men actually can be continue to advance towards the new front line. The howitzers can begin to limber up. 12 pounders just advance. There's only one unit left. Although they're losing men quite rapidly. They are not going to be long for this world, if I had to guess. Who's come back? Volunteers of Cuidad Rodrigo. And the General's Bodyguard Unit has returned. If they decide to go for my infantry on the flank, then we will form square. Artillery's come into position, they're starting to fire, but to be honest, the real chaos is going to happen once these fellas start to hit the... hit the front lines. Oh, you're going to get some good kills, Fort Jaeger. Come on, Swiss Jaeger. You may just bayonet charge those chaps. Everyone else, march towards the front line. There we go. So let's create our new attacking forces, including these two units. Charge the cavalry... F uh, nah, withdraw the cavalry... well, not withdraw them, but, you know, keep them back. New men advance... F actually, you may as well push. 
You're already close. Their morale is already low. Let's get the 12-pounders more into the centre. Same with the howitzers. Just bring them up. Maybe bring this unit of cavalry wide. Okay, you guys actually... Stop pursuing. Okay, now we've got the garrison itself coming into the focus now. Bring my lifeguards over more into the centre. Engaging the flank of the Swiss Guards. That is somewhat acceptable. So you chaps pivot to focus on the militia here. These two units push up. Most of these units should be broken enough. Okay, get my heavy cavalry out on the right flank. Get my general staff up to the centre. You guys might have to run, otherwise you might not even make it to the battle line. These guys can walk on the flank. In the centre. Bring up my general too. Okay, maybe trot them out wide now. You guys form square because the third regiment's inbound. You may advance into the militia with the bayonet because those are Jaeger riflemen. You men form up to a new front line past the factory. Advance up to the factory line for now. We have grenadiers coming in as well as more Swiss infantry. Enemy general has fallen. Yeah, they're falling back now. Fifty second, the fifty first. These men have all done good work. So you men push around the... Just take one more unit, Foot Jaeger. Push around these buildings. Just take a unit of militia to secure said building. Two units to stand behind it. Swiss Jaeger riflemen are opening up. So advance our line. Thought I heard musketry. You, you, you men may actually push around the building too. Push my horse guards up. Veteran Swiss line. Taken a few casualties. Push up my general. Uh, cavalry's mopped up those first grenadier swines. Just destroy them. Okay, 
you men. We have taken a building, sir. Good. My life got into the Swiss Jaeger. Push up my line. Get my cavalry out here on the flank. Except for you. You may can engage at range. My foot Jaeger up and ready. Third ground engineer regiment are down. Jaeger riflemen are broken. So let's bring my cavalry back. Okay, you men pivot like so. You men pivot like so. There goes enemy grenadiers out on the flank. So if we can mop, mop up that infantry unit, which we can, we can then ratchet our line forward again. Really need my howitzers up here. Push them up just a little bit more to make sure we've got some good firing arcs. But I think this is already quite a punishing position for the enemy. You guys might unlimber now. They're massing us. Get these militia out as well. Bayonet charge. Our men are running. Rally and inspire our men. You men hit that regiment. Charge my cavalry in first. Light horse go for the artillery. Horse guards get involved here. Infantry get around the flank. Horse guards push in again at the back. Causing some localised successes. Good. You men form the new line. Two units of Indelta have fled. You men charge against the 10th Regiment of Foot. There we go. The gallant generals pushed forward into the line now. Howitzers too. Although I probably want to. Now I want to cease fire. Send the Finns against the in against the infantry here. Bring in the horse guards. Charge into the infantry here. My and Delta have returned. Take both of them have returned to take position in the line. Get this two infantry these two infantry units to surround the enemy good you men charge this unit here glorious victory sir is soon to be yours damn right So many line infantry killed there. OK, 
Okay, let's actually make these infantry units just secure the secure the empty ground. You men charge forward. Charge into the seventh regiment. They're shattered. We aren't going to be mopping up their army, but we are going to be destroying this regiment of infantry, the 11th. Go on in, Delta Regiment. <laughs> Excellent. That went, that got pretty cool towards the end. But there we go. A great victory for Sweden. Oh, they lost <laughs> nearly their entire force. That means Finn Pyle can advance up towards Luzerne and bring death to their capital. But looking at the timer, we're not super close to the end, but at the same time we have fought two quite big battles. The last one was actually quite a good battle, so I think this would be a good, a good moment to kick off the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Luzerne, the destruction of the Swiss. Uh, Empire and also the opening of the northern flank towards Milan. So thanks for watching everyone, hope you've enjoyed.